my freshman year in high school, I had already started experimenting with drugs and alcohol and uh, smoking a lot of weed. Uh, but I still, you know, did pretty well in school and was on the cheerleading squad and everything. I had the obsessive and compulsive behaviors, the addict behaviors, since forever. It was food, it was attention, it was boys, it was shopping, it was whatever made me feel differently. And then, especially because I never really felt like I was like everybody else. I always felt different and awkward and weird. So when everybody started using and drinking, I was like, well, I can do that. That's my ticket. That's how I'm going to fit in with everybody and be cool. During Christmas break, my freshman year in high school, my mom was in a car accident and she died. And my I mean, my parents were married for 32 years before my mom passed, and my dad lost it. He absolutely lost it. He was just never around, and my sister was in college. So I was really lo left to my own devices, and that's when my drug use really skyrocketed and turned from weed and alcohol and some hallucinogens into cocaine and pills, and basically whatever I could get my hands on. I wouldn't go to school. Um, I didn't want to do anything. I just wanted to get high and party. And I started to notice that, you know, my friends wouldn't want to hang out with me because they wouldn't know where I would end up. They didn't want to have to deal with me because they didn't party like I did. I, I mean, I didn't come from a family that did drugs. I didn't really know anything about hard drugs. It wasn't really a thing. I mean, I knew about cocaine and stuff from high school, but I didn't know about opiates. And when I started doing the pills, I mean, I, I fell in love Im immediately. When they started shutting down the pain clinics and the pills weren't as readily available, they became really expensive and we couldn't afford them anymore. And that's when my boyfriend at the time told me that um, you know, everybody else was doing heroin because the pills weren't around. And at first I was like, huh, no. There is no way in the world that I'm gonna do that. And you know, I, but I didn't leave the group of friends that I was in. I still hung out with them. I was around it more and more. He started doing it. I became desensitized to the heroin use. And eventually, you know, pills weren't around and I was sick. So I tried it. And then that was the start of the end. From the first time I shot heroin, that was it. That I mean, once I started shooting, I didn't want to do drugs any other way. I thought that I had found this magical thing that was so awesome and amazing. I mean, I would try to shoot things that you can't even shoot, like Suboxone and Xanax and Adderall. It was, I mean, the needle is really my drug of choice. I had to use it every day. I... It wasn't a matter of, oh, I'm just not going to use today. Like, I have that choice. I didn't have a choice. It was, it ran my life. Everything that I did revolved around how was I going to get well. Every dollar that I had went to the dope man, and that was it. Every job that I had, I had to make sure that I was going to make cash at the end of the night and that I was gonna have enough cash at whatever I did to be able to get high. 